of the massive sacrifice our Anzac troops endured on Gallipoli. However, it seems that one of their biggest battles and contributions to the war is often overlooked. The Western Front, 157 miles of trenches, barbed wire, and sandbags. Anzacs were instrumental to the British and were often renowned for their enthusiasm and mateship in the face of adversity. One of the most famous battles the brave Anzacs took part in was the British offensive at the Somme. The battle lasted from 16th July to 18th November 1960. Many soldiers died in this battle. 250,000 Frenchmen, 240,000 Germans, and just under 500,000 troops from the British Empire. This sadly included 20,000 Anzacs, who lost their lives during that offensive. It was a battle so gruesome that half of all the Commonwealth casualties that occurred during the war happened in that battle. Together with the constant death and gas came the elements. Discomfort was a fact of life, but the Anzacs stayed strong not letting the terrible nature of their situation keep them down. Needless to say, it was hell. The Western Front had a big outcome in World War I because of the Battle of Somme, where lots of people, nearly thousands of people, died. Approximately 300,000 Australians served on the Western Front during World War I. This is because Australia is part of the Commonwealth, which is run by Britain, so they had to help the British Empire in the war. All around the world, newspaper articles were written to show the events that have, were taking place at the time. The, the Battle of the Somme was a big effect for the outcome of the war, so lots of people were talking about this in their newspaper articles, especially in Australia. One of the most famous letters written during the wartime was by a man called Lawrence Pignon, and it was called The Ode. The Ode is taken from his poem, and is said to have parts of battles in the Western Front in it. World War I, 1914-1918, was the Great War, also considered to be the war to end all wars. During this conflict, a major battleground was the Western Front. There are approximately 200,000 Australians who served in the war, but do we actually know how many Australians lost their lives in the place of war? Chances are you don't, but statistics show an estimate that over 46,000 Australians lost their lives that day, and 132,000 left wounded. Many of these deaths weren't because of the gunfights, but mainly due to the environment and the hygiene. It was an estimate that 30% of the total deaths of Australians was because of an epidemic typhus, also known as trench fever. This was triggered due to unsanitary environments and too much bacteria being introduced to the body at once. During the war, there are many evidence found and left behind by those who fought for Australia. These are primary sources which help historians find out what occurred back in the war. These may include letters, diaries, and journals, but can also be left behind, like weapons, such as bayonets, machine guns, and handguns. The evidence left behind depended on the countries that participated and differed between their experiences on or off the battlefield.